Sagittarius, your person's desires. Your person's desires. Longing and desire. Whoo. Whoa. Balance and unity. Some of you left this person and, and they want to they want a return. Lady who waits. Oh yeah. Virgo got that too, lady who waits. The key is not waiting. The key is just doing your thing, following your course of action, your path. Because that keeps you in a holding pattern. That can keep you in a holding pattern, which you want movement. And they know that. All right, so. Oh, wow. Okay, so <laughs> some of you have Scorpio placements because you got the same exact cards. Okay, so. All right, so let's talk about that here, too. Okay. There is a deep sense of longing to meet up with this past life person. Okay. So for some of you, that's why some of these other relationships didn't work out. Some of you just didn't have patience and kept going because you felt like it had something to do with your self-worth. Okay, but it didn't. It was just not moving, wanting to move at the pace you wanted to go. Okay, so then that caused longing on both sides. Okay, so there is a potential for any kind of uh, union here. Past, present, future. Okay, now, the lady who waits. If you've been waiting, get out of that waiting mode. Yeah, here's that self-esteem thing coming up here again. Okay, so beautiful face, ideal romance, and body positive. Okay, so I'm going to explain this to you the same way it was presented in Scorpio. Okay, so think of all beings as a vessel for pure energy, okay? Now, when you come together with a person, if you approach the being as this vessel for pure positive energy, then it'll be easier to ha be body positive and, um, you know, connect at a deep, intimate level. Okay, so... And you won't feel like they're judging you and things. Because if you receive it through those eyes. The source within is unconditional. Loving no matter what. And if you receive beings. Through that lens. Through that knowing. There is a greater chance for you to have this kind of intimacy you've been desiring and longing for. Okay, now of course each human does different things with their mind, so there can be varying degrees of that. But the key is to hold your energy in that light, and then you will have a greater chance for success here. It doesn't matter who it is. And then you can move out of doubt and indecision with this person okay all right capricorn you what your person desires Taking the plunge in new territory. Okay, in love matters. Okay, so what does that mean? I feel like that means taking the time 
it's like, okay, they're showing me retirement, but retirement now. Like, t doing those things now while you have the energy to do it. And that will open up to more joy and jubilation. It's like traveling to different places together. I'm getting different countries. And exploring new. And that will be a source of inspiration for your new direction also. And some of you, that joy and jubilation will open you up to uh, the possibility of children in the future also. Any kind of children. It doesn't have to be human, but I feel like that they're, uh, they're uh, yeah, it's human children. And that is a great potential. It's like they're cued, ready to move into this physical reality okay but uh there's um, a desire for great jubilation joy and playfulness and i leave you with that aquarius what your person desires What your person desires is for you to not stand alone. You like to do things a lot on your own, but it's like uh, moving in, in inclusiveness, including them in your, uh, okay. And then on both sides, there is a sense of longing and desire because here you are, okay, doing your own thing and, um, but I, there needs to be a certain degree of inclusion. That's what your person desires. Some of you, this is a marriage contract, so you are moving into that direction. Some of you, it's just about energy is what I'm picking up. Okay, needing to charge up the body. And also fear of being bound to another person. So they want you to release that. Okay, and I feel like if you all are into open relationships, they're seeking, uh, they want uh, monogamous, I think. Yeah. And for you to... Uh, not just be body positive, but also um, trust, trusting your inner world and surrendering. A certain degree of surrendering is what your person desires. Sweet surrender. This is a healthy surrender. It's like releasing the resistance in your own energy so you could be open to receive. That's what I'm getting. Okay, I'll leave you with that. Pisces, what your person desires. Pisces, what your person desires. Taking the plunge. You got that before. You got that in another reading I did. Okay, soft whispers. Listening to... The non-physical energy within, which is also your partner. How do you do that? Calm your mind. Ooh, jealousy and possessiveness. So the, with that came some non-forgiveness there. Jealousy and possessiveness. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so they want you to release whatever that was. I'm not going to go swimming in it. <laughs> okay, joy and jubilation. See, 
So releasing whatever that was, I feel like will move you into, okay, so whatever you were fearing back here, okay, that had you vibrating at a lower place. So release that fear, and then this will be your natural state, joy, and then you will have good times, okay? No, the good times are a guaranteed, okay? The key is being awake to it. And you do that by being in your joy, moving in that every day. Okay, thank you. This has been your partner's um, desires message. Thank you.